Hi, I'm Tandy Newton, and this is what's in my bag. So, this bag, love it so much. Christian Louboutin, well, it's more than close to my heart. So, oh, here, look. First thing that came out is my mask, one of many, which was sent to me by my dear, dear friends at the Malaika School in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And Congo is a place that I go to and have an amazing kinship with the women there. And this is one of my very wonderful masks from them. Uh, okay, so my wallet. It's a Prada one. It's a nice one. This is what I bought yesterday, The Economist. Feminax, because I'm on my period. Yes, came on this morning, which, you know, folks, you having a period, not ideal, but I managed. Seeing as we're in that zone, yeah. I love this, my vampire tea bags bag, which hides all the things that women normally think they have to conceal. But here I am in the bag talking about my tampons. But I did like the fact that it's vampire tea bags. It's just funny. Okay, book. Good Hair by the wonderful Charlotte Mensa. And she's brilliant. She's a wonderful hair artist and has done so much for helping women of color in England with their hair. This next thing, my hand sanitizing spray, Neil's Yard Remedies. And I've got another one of their products, so I just thought, you know, do all Neil's Yard at once. This is my hand cream, Neil's Yard Remedies. This is the Rose Sauvage. Their new rose line is amazing, and it's not wildly expensive. The ingredients are so pure. Fancy that. Okay, oh, here we are. A Louis Vuitton makeup bag. I did a little photo shoot for Louis Vuitton, and they let me have some nice things. Um, okay, should I show you what's in my makeup bag, in my bag? The bag in the bag? Why not? Because, you know, we've got all day. Um, my lovely friend RuPaul, so it was my birthday and we went for a lovely walk here in London because he was doing RuPaul's Drag Race. And he arrived for our walk with all these makeup products. So this is really cool, actually. This is called Face Defender. And you use the sponge and you take a bit and it takes all the shine away but it's not like a powder or anything. It's like this kind of balm. It's really wild. So that's a really good thing. My favorite mascara. I love Ico. I've got a bit of Glossier cheek stuff. Really like this. This is the Fenty Beauty Eyeliner. Pretty classy. All right, so hat. Bad weather in England at the moment. Favorite brand of wool and anything is the Elder Statesman. Oh, God. Winter hat. My glasses. Had these for freaking ages. Celine, great. Okay. Um, oh, this mournable body by Titsi Dangaremga, shortlisted for the Booker Prize. She's freaking amazing. When I went to Cambridge a long time ago, decades ago, I went to read anthropology and uh, I had a reading list when I arrived and her book, Nervous Conditions, was the first book on the reading list that I ever read and it blew my mind. Post poo drops. My husband put this in my bag because I didn't put it in here this morning. Notebook, Essench, bacterial wipes. Yes, obviously. A charger. I mean, who doesn't need one of those? A hairband. Huh? Um, my iPod with my music. What have I been listening to? Ooh, yeah. Really liking Mirror's Edge by Moon Duo. And um, what else have I got in here? A bit of Fleetwood Mac, War on Drugs, ah, uh, Nick Hakim, Frazee Ford. Oh, just so much. Aren't we lucky? All this incredible. Oh. I stole this from the shoot. This was in my room, my dressing room, in the Vogue shoot. And I stole it. And that, everyone, is what is in my bag. I'm slightly ashamed because I've got so much. Hopefully there'll be someone else out there who relates and who feels better about the fact that they might have issues and that they might be a hoarder. But at least I'm a hoarder that looks really good. <laughs>